this video is about solving using the quadratic formula. So remember that the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If we look at the discriminant, which is the number under the square root, it will tell us how many solutions we should expect in our answer. So we're going to figure out what the discriminant is and how many answers we should have. So in the first one, we have y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So if we use our discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, remember if it is positive, we have two solutions. If it is zero, we have one solution. And if it's negative, we have no solutions. So when I substitute, my a value is going to be 1. My b value is going to be negative 4. My c value is going to be positive 4. So we have parentheses, negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. We can plug that all into our calculator. Make sure we use parentheses. So parentheses, negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4, which gets us 0. That means we would have one solution. In number 2, there is no x value. So that means that our a value is 1, our b value is 0, our c value is 10. So we have 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. So in our calculator, parentheses, 0 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 would get us negative 40 because that's a negative. That means we have one solution, or sorry, we have zero solutions. Negative means zero solutions because we can't take the square root of them. And then in C, our A value is 1, our B value is negative 10, our C value is 16. So we have negative 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16. So if we put that in our calculator, negative 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16. That gets us 36, and because that's a positive number, we have two solutions. So now let's look at some problems using quadratic formula. So remember, in order to use quadratic formula, we need to be equal to 0. So right now we're equal to 5, so we are going to subtract 5 from both sides. We get 2x squared plus 10x minus 5 is equal to 0. If I look at my equation, that means my a value is 2, my b value is 10, my c value is negative 5. So when we substitute into our quadratic equation, we have negative parenthesis 10 plus or minus the square root of 10 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5 all over 2 times 2. So when we simplify, we have negative 10 plus or minus the square root. In our calculator, we're going to type everything under the parentheses. So 10 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 5, which gets us 140 over 4. Now, because the number under the parentheses is positive, that means we would have two solutions. So I'm going to split my equations. So we have negative 10 plus the square root of 140 divided by 4 and negative 10 minus the square root of 140 divided by 4. So in our calculator, we can either use the fraction or we can type in the numerator first and then divide by the denominator. So I'm going to do that. Negative 10 plus the square root of 140 divided by 4. So that would be 0.46 when I round. And I have negative 10 minus the square root of 140 divided by 4 which would be negative 5.46. So x would equal 0.46 and negative 5.46. So let's look at another example. In number 3, we need to get to equal 0, so we're going to subtract 4x from both sides and subtract 6 from both sides. So we get 8x squared minus 1x plus 4 is equal to 0. So if we identify our a value is 8, our b value is negative 1, and our c value is 4. So when we substitute into the quadratic equation, we have negative parentheses negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 8 times 4 all over 2 times 4. 
So when we simplify, we get 1 plus or minus. We need to simplify our square root. Parenthesis negative 1 squared minus 4 times 8 times 4, which is negative 127 over 8. Remember, we can't take the square root of a negative number, so we would have no real solution. Number four, we need to move over the 2x by subtracting and add 49. So I have x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 0. So our A value is 1, my B value is 14, and my C value is 49. So we have negative parenthesis 14 plus or minus the square root of 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 divided by 2 times 1. So that gets us negative 14 plus or minus the square root of, I'm going to put in my calculator, 14 squared minus 1, 14 times 1, 4 times 1 times 49, which is 0 divide by 2, which means we're going to just have one solution because of the 0, so negative 14 plus the square root of 0 would get us negative 14 divided by 2 is 7, so x equals negative 7. So if we have a graph and we want to know how many solutions we have, remember that these equations are just quadratics. So thinking back to before, if we have solutions, that means how many times it crosses the x-axis. So if we have no solutions, that means that our parabola would never intersect the x-axis. If we have one solution, that means it'll just bounce up against the x-axis. And if we have two solutions, it'll pass through the x-axis twice.